What's up third graders? Today we're going to be working on identifying fractions greater than one on a number line. All right, let's get started. Here we have a number line from zero to two with the dot representing a fraction. The important thing is to not get tricked and to remember that the denominator is always the equal parts or gaps between zero and one. So we count the gaps between zero and one and we see that there are two gaps. That means our denominator is two. The numerator is the number of equal parts or gaps up to our point. So we see that there is one gap. So our numerator is one. So this dot represents the fraction one half. All right, let's try another one. Again, we have a number line that goes past one, but we're not gonna get tricked we're only going to count the gaps between 0 and 1 to find our denominator. So we see there are 1, 2, 3, 4 gaps that make a hole. So our denominator is 4. Next, to find the numerator, we count the equal parts or gaps up to our point. So we count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So our numerator is 6. So this dot represents the fraction 6 fourths. Anytime that our dot is past 1, our numerator will be bigger than the denominator. And vice versa, if we know our numerator is bigger than the denominator, then we know the fraction is greater than 1. One last example. We're told to plot two points to correctly place the fraction 1 third. Now we're told the fraction so we start by looking at the denominator, which tells us how many equal parts or gaps there are that make a hole. So we know that we need three gaps to make one hole. So we put the dot for one at the spot where our three gaps are. Now the numerator of our fraction is one, which means we have one gap or equal part. So we put our dot for one third at, after one gap to represent one third. So to sum it all up, don't be tricked by number lines greater than one or fractions greater than one. You still find the denominator by counting the gaps between zero and one. Then you find the numerator by counting the gaps from zero to your point. And if the fraction is greater than one, your numerator will be greater than your denominator. Thanks for watching. Peace. using Powtoon.